All right, so uh, I think back when you were in grade seven and grade eight, your teacher probably told you how to find the area of certain shapes. And we've already talked about area of uh, squares and uh, rectangles. We haven't talked a lot about the area of circles yet, but you know that is something that I know you've seen in the past. And uh, in this course, if you look at the back, you get a sheet that looks like this. Okay, this is a a uh, formula sheet for grade 9 applied mathematics and uh, there's a bunch of different shapes. There's a quadrilateral, trapezoid, these are parallel lines for the trapezoid. Over on the right here is the formula. So the perimeter, usually the perimeter is the same thing each time. Add up the sides. But the area is different for almost every one of these. So as I say that I noticed that the, the area is the same for these two but basically the the area formula is different. And uh, you can use this sheet to help you with these questions that we look at in this lesson, okay? And also with your quizzes that are coming up here, okay? This is very handy. So I'm just gonna, and there's volume which we'll look at a little later. Right now we're just concerned with area. Now it says area and perimeter of composite shapes. What the heck is a composite shape? Well, a composite, and let me underline it there, composite shape is a shape that looks strange because it's more than one shape put together. Here's a little glance at one. Woo, crazy looking, eh? There is no shape that, that looks like this on that formula sheet. There is no shape that looks like that. So what you do is you have to get familiar with dealing with, um, I don't know, breaking it up into smaller shapes. Now, one of the shapes I saw when I looked at this is this one right here. I saw that this looks like a circle, except for it's only half of a circle. Well, first of all, if we were supposed to find the area, let's pretend I could draw a perfect circle here. To find the area of a perfect circle, if you look on your sheet, the area is pi. Do you remember what pi is? Pi is 3.14. Okay, so area of a circle is pi times the radius What's the radius? Well, the radius is from the belly button of the circle all the way to the outside. Okay, that is r. And for the formula, it's pi r squared. By the way, remember circles? If you have a circle and you go through the belly button all the way to the other side, that is called the diameter. All right? We're not concerned with the diameter for area. We just want to find the radius. Okay, so you go 3.14, and let's say the radius was 5. You'd go 3.14 times 5, and the 2 means you times it again. So 3.14 times 5 times 5. Don't go 5 times 2. That it would be a mistake. All right? Now, distance around a circle <clears throat> is called the circumference. Instead of perimeter, we usually say circumference for circles. And here's the formula. It's pi, once again. This time it's pi not times r, but it's pi times d. Some formula sheets will actually say 2 pi r. Now, 2 times r is just like doubling the radius, which is really the same thing as d. So we don't really need this. We can just say it's just pi times d. That's cool. All right? And you can figure it out from there. So, um, what happens if you're given a, a semicircle, which is also known as a half circle? What if they tell you that the diameter is 10 here? How would you find the area of this? And let me see if I can find, there's a really cool little, uh, hmm, I thought it was here. Yes, there is. I'm just looking up here. It's pretty neat. I don't want a highlighter. I just want a crayon. What color of crayon do I want? Uh, green. I want to find the area. I want to find the area inside this circle, this uh, semicircle. Okay, do you like my crayon? Good. I hope you didn't mind the extra time it took just to color this in. I just love it. Okay. <laughs> I also have a cold too. You've probably noticed that. I keep uh, gargling into the to the microphone here, but you're, you're, you're doing all right. You're handling it.
Hopefully the math is distracting you. But in this case, if you wanted to find the area of the situation, well, write down the formula. A equals, it's a circle. It's actually half a circle, so just go pi r squared. But remember, you're going to divide your answer by 2 at the end. You can put it now. If you wanted to, you could say that's going to be divided by 2, or you could do it later. It doesn't matter. Okay. So 3.14 is pi. The radius is not 10. The radius is half of 10, which is 5. Okay? And then you're going to divide that all by 2. So take your calculator if you want right now. Go 3.14, I'm doing it on mine, times 5 times 5. I got 78.5. Then I divide by 2, and I got 39 point, I'm just going to round it off. It says 2, 5, I'm going to round it to a 3. 39.3, and let's pretend it's centimeters, so centimeters squared. That would be the area of this semicircle. So see how it can get kind of tricky? What if they wanted to know, what if there was like a box here? Well, I should really erase some things before I go and talk about that. There we go. What if they wanted to know? Hmm. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a rectangle here. And they told you that the length of this rectangle was 15 centimeters. And this distance from here to here was 10 centimeters. What would you do if you had to figure out this whole area? What would you do? Well, you would find you would find the area of this, which is what we just did. We got 39.3. Remember that? Then you would find the area of this rectangle, and 15 times 10 is 150. And they're both areas of each one. Just add them up. Add up the area from here and the area from here, and you're going to get, you know, 189.3 centimeters squared, and that will be great. Okay, but what if they ask you? I can, I can leave that there. What if they ask you the perimeter? Remember, the perimeter is the distance around this thing. Okay? So this is what you do. Start by saying, hey, we've got a semicircle here. We need a formula. There's the formula right there. C equals pi times d. So C equals 3.14. What's the diameter of this circle? It's 10. 3.14 times 10, what do we get? Well, our calculator would tell us 31.4. Let's pretend it's centimeters, so. So this distance from here all the way around, if it's a full circle, would be 31.4. The problem is it's a half circle, so you've got to divide by 2. 31.4 divided by 2 is 15.7. All right? So we know this is 15.7, but we have to add up the perimeter. Perimeter is pretty easy when you have a rectangle. You just say, hey, what's the distance from here to here? Well, that's 15. Okay, plus, well, what's this distance from here to here, the width? Well, we know that's 10, because it said it's 10 over here, so rectangles have the same side, same length here as well as here. And then add up the last side, and the total distance around is 15.7 plus 15 plus 10 plus 15. And the total would be 55.7. You can verify that on your calculator if you want. Okay, that would be the distance around this thing. This is called a composite shape. So let's just practice this one more time. Let's say we had a question like this. And we just saw this here and we said, whoa, we're supposed to take this guy. and." Uh, figure out what the area is. Hopefully the, the uh, book would tell us a few hints. So you'd look closer and you'd say, wait a minute, they've given me a hint here. From here to here is 10 centimeters. All right, that helps. Um, from here to here is 30 centimeters. Well, that's good to know. And they also tell you that the distance from here to here, so from here to here, is 12 centimeters. And that's all the information they tell you. Okay? That is it. So what we're going to do is 
shrink this down a little bit so I have room to work. And then we're going to say, okay, how many shapes are we talking here? Well, I see a triangle right here. I see a triangle. And <clears throat> I know this is 10 right here, by the way. Over here, I see a rectangle. And over here, I see a half circle. Okay, so there's three shapes. So let's start by finding the area. Let's find the area of this thing. All right, so we know we have a half circle here. So the area of a half circle is pi r squared. And we're going to divide by 2. Okay, then we're going to add up the area of this rectangle. And a rectangle is simply the length times the width. Those are the easiest ones. And we're going to find the area of this triangle here. And if you look on your sheet, you're going to see something that says the base times the height divided by 2. Some sheets say altitude times base divided by 2, but it's really the same thing, just base times height divided by 2. So let's start with the most difficult one. Let's do this one. 3.14 times, I should really just use brackets, the radius, which is 5 squared divided by 2 plus the length and the width of the rectangle, 10, well it's 30 times 10. 30 times, that also means, oops, that also means uh, times by the way folks. This dot right in the middle means times in math, so you don't have to write an x and get people confused. So 30 times 10 plus base times height divided by 2. Well, the base, I guess we're going to say this is the base right here and the height is right here. So it's going to be 12 times 10. 12 times 10 divided by 2. All right? So what's the final answer going to be? Well, take your calculator for the uh, semicircle. And go 3.14 times 5 times 5, then divide by 2, and you get what we got before, 39.25. Two five or 39.3, whichever way you want to say it, plus 30 times 10 is 300. Wow, that's a lot. Plus 12 times 10 is 120. Divided by 2 is 60. So our final answer for the area here is everything added up. Okay? So add up all those numbers. You can do your calculator if you want, and you get 399.25 centimeters squared. That is the total area of this composite shape. All right? Okay, now the last thing I have to talk to you about, not the area. Actually, I'm just going to start erasing stuff. We want to know what's the perimeter of this entire thing. Okay, how would you do that? Well, the perimeter is the distance around. I'm going to quickly write this. So the perimeter is the distance around. So let's figure that out. We have a semicircle here. So that's the circumference. And remember, the formula for circumference is pi times the diameter. But don't forget, it's half a circle, so we have to divide by 2. Then we're going to add up the sides. We're not going to add up this 10 here, but we're going to add up this 30 right here. Okay, and there's another 30 up here. Notice I'm avoiding this because I want to talk about this last. So there's another 30 right here. And right here is 12. Don't forget to add that 12. The only thing we don't know is what this distance is right here. How could we figure out this distance? We need to know it. Well. Go back to your lesson on Pythagorean theorem and then say to yourself, wait a minute, I can figure this out. I have to, I don't know, I'm going to call this x for now. What do you do for Pythagorean theorem? Well, it's a right angle triangle. Here's the two legs. If we square these two and add them up, this is what we get. 12 times 12, I'm going to put it in a different, in a green writing here, green font. 144. 12 times 12 is 144. 
plus, and I'm assuming you know the Pythagorean theorem. I'm doing this quickly. 10 times 10 is 100. And if we put these together, we'll end up getting what x squared is, or c squared if you want to put a c squared there. So that's, so that's 244 if we add them up. 244 is equal to x squared. How do you get rid of the squared? Square root, yes. So the square root, I'm using my calculator right now, square root 244 is 15.6. Back to the pink pen. 15.6 is this distance right here. Okay, and there we go. So let's quickly figure out the half circle here. Pi times d, well that's 3.14 times the diameter, which is 10, 31.4, divided by 2. And we did this on the last page, so you can always skip back if you want to see how it's done. But you end up getting 15.7. Okay, this becomes 15.7. All right, now let's add all that up. 15.7, I'm going to say it out loud, plus 30, plus 30, plus 12, plus 15.6, getting excited because we're almost done this question, and it is a bit long. And the perimeter, the perimeter is 103.3 centimeters. Notice I'm not writing a little squared there. No, that's for area, okay? So no, whoops, what was I thinking? I'll get rid of that. This is the perimeter of our object, okay? Now, good luck. You're going to be asked questions that have to do with a bunch of different shapes. You're going to have to break them up into small shapes and deal with them. But please feel free to ask questions. Say, hey, Bentley, I, I'm confused. We'll talk, okay? This doesn't have to be uh, a nightmare, all right? Composite shapes should not be complicated, okay? And those are my words for today. Holy cow, it's 17 minutes. We have talked too long. Oh boy.